Hi there. Uh, welcome to the video. It's a short video. It's an unscheduled video. Uh, solely to document the uh, the launching of the boat. This ship is now in the water. You probably can't tell by looking behind me, but you're looking at the, the, the foresail of the boat next to me. No longer in dry storage. Okay, that phase of the project is over and this boat is ready to go. I mean, I could theoretically drive out there right this minute and head down the North Sea if I was crazy enough to do that. Um, uh, but the video is just to document the mechanics of what it takes to get the boat in the water. So I do hope you enjoy the video. Again, you know, for me, I, I wouldn't call it emotional. I'm not busted up and crying about it or anything like that. But it has been a lot of damn work. And most of the work, whether it was gray water or cockpit drains or removing that holding tank full of shit, you know, grinding metal, 90% of that work I just don't like. You know, the whole idea is to live on a boat and just enjoy a quiet, simple life. And finally we got there even though the boat hasn't technically moved too much. Um, so enjoy the video. I hope you keep on watching and stick with me. Um, take care. boys oh my god we're about 20 20 meters in 30 to go nothing connecting this boat to the land anymore except gravity This is your last look at the bottom side of the plane of the boat. Put four fenders on this side because I'm expecting to be port side too tomorrow. The two big ones in the middle, they came from Houston. Shows that he had a pretty big pair. So each of the fenders is tied with an old main sheet. It was kind of frayed and getting kind of powdery, so it makes perfect it makes it perfect for fenders so I cut up the old sheet into six pieces and made my uh, fender lines out of them which just goes to show what happens if you give a sheet huh get it <laughs> I'm second in line there's a small boat uh, that David wants to get first we've already got my berth picked out I've already walked it down and checked it out Been a long damn time coming. Pretty tight squeeze. That's the sound of the uh, straps, the slings taking strain. So smart guys like me get the hell clear. Because your figure when it picks up, it might move a little bit. Because I can see her moving a little bit forward. So he's going to kind of do a test hold. And then I'm gonna... There she goes, next stop seawater. Yeah, I don't know what else I would have done. What else could I have done? I know one thing. 
my cup of hot tea is on board and I can't get to it now. Now I'm standing on the fuel dock, which is right next to the slip. And as you can see, we're not in the water all the way yet. Oh my goodness, if she rides this high, we really messed up. <laughs> we took off too much ship. viewers, I'm using the same tactic we use with aircraft carriers, believe it or not. Okay though, okay. Look, am I clear? Okay. Hey, this morning I learned that I'm a Ermitaño. <laughs> Ermitaño, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> this is a, a cheers out to uh, Andrew Weston uh, from the YouTube channel Sailing Octopot. Andrew gave me the bottle of rum named the Kraken and that's the name of his ship which he's getting ready to go he'll he's a probably a few months behind me as far as project schedule but he's got a beauty and Andrew gave me this uh, bottle of rum to celebrate this ship going in the water so I'm very happy about that so cheers Andrew well done thank you God, does it ever stop raining? Well, I had my first Scottish Gale yesterday. It was blowing pretty good. I mean, on the uh, Met Office chart, it said it was gusting to 35, 40 knots. And I said, no, I might accept a gust or two got there, but not much. Steady winds around 30, I think, you know, so... And the rain would come and go. I mean, you would have sun one minute, and then the next hour you have rain, and then the next hour you have sun again. It, it was a funky day. Today, it's just rain. It's supposed to be partly cloud cloudy today, but it's raining pretty good. Whatever. Yeah, hey, uh, so thanks again for watching the video. Good morning. It's, um, I think, November 1 right now. 
and getting this boat in the water was a very big deal for me and I and I have shout outs of thanks to Mad Mike to Andrew Weston from Sailing Octopot to Graham and Helen who helped me and you know and not just for their technical or physical help but for for being friends you know I, I came up here 100% alone and now we've got some pretty darned high quality friends so I'm very very thankful guy right now alhamdulillah so the launch was successful in that we didn't crash <clears throat> and no one died and and we don't have a single leak so remember that bow thruster anode that I had to replace zero leakage the the cockpit drains no leakage the depth sounder transducer no leakage so that welded repair of course that has zero leakage so I'm pretty darn secure I've got a, a good slip in the marina I'm, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good it's more comfortable on board as the liveaboard because now that I'm in the water the temperature of the water is about uh, 12 to 13 degrees C and that's generally warmer than what the air temperature is going to be so it's actually more comfortable and uh, while you're in the water <laughs> in the future the work I have includes a little bit more work I have yet to repair the propane system I have to install another bilge pump I want to do a little more woodwork topside to make it a little more pretty but not much else I mean uh, the mattresses for the bunks arrive in another week and I you know this thing will be a pretty comfortable live aboard boat in another week and I am very thankful so thanks for watching please leave your comments I always read them and I will always try my best to reply so have a great one everybody cheers That's from Joe the Volcano. Joe versus the Volcano.